The newest ship from Drake Interplanetary, the Drake Cutter. It's a simple ship, a starter ship, a small daily driver with a bed, a bathroom, a bit of cargo space, and a dream. One of the newest ships through the pipeline, it's resonated with many citizens. But why is everyone that hasn't flown it asking the same questions since it released in IAE? Why do you think the Cutter is such a good ship? Make sure you stick around till the end for some new and very important information about my road to monetization giveaway. Let's start off by comparing the Cutter to the other starter ships. The Aurora MR and the Mustang Alpha happen to be the cheapest way to get into the game, but they aren't really competitors to this ship. The main reasons being that they don't really have an interior space that works as a living quarters, and they're $15 less in the store. That really sets them apart from the next tier of ships. At the normal price of $60, the Cutter Starter Pack is instead a direct competitor to the 100i, the C8X Pisces Expedition, and the Avenger Titan. Compared to the 100i, the Cutter has less firepower and maneuverability. The handling characteristics of the 100i make it significantly better in combat and flying around in atmosphere than the Cutter. The Cutter, however, has significantly more hull HP, about 10x the quantum and hydrogen fuel capacity, can haul twice as much cargo, has full living quarters, and it can haul around small vehicles. Moving on to the C8X Pisces Expedition, another one of my favorite small ships. The Pisces handles a little better than the Cutter and has double the firepower. We're only talking about four badgers though, so it's not like it's some sort of combat ship. It almost matches the hydrogen capacity of the Cutter, but only has about one-tenth the quantum fuel. The Pisces also has four SCU of dedicated cargo capacity, but can't fit a mule in the back. It does offer two additional seats though, so you can bring passengers, and you can cram a few of the smaller vehicles in the back, but I really wouldn't recommend it. The Avenger Titan is the closest real competitor to the Cutter, and beats it in a few key areas. The Titan can outmaneuver the Cutter and has significantly more firepower. In its stock configuration, the Titan comes with two size 3 and one size 4 weapon slots versus the Cutter's two size 1 gimbaled hardpoints. If that weren't enough, the Titan also has four size 2 missiles compared to the Cutter's four size 1s. Both ships come with size 1 components, but the Titan has two shields and two coolers versus the Cutter's single component for each. That's a big advantage. To round it all out, the Titan has double the cargo capacity of the Cutter as well. The main areas where the Cutter improves on the Titan are in hauling small vehicles and in its interior living space. The Titan can't haul vehicles, not reliably at least. Sure, the Nox can fit, and I've seen some lucky pilots get a hover quad in there, but realistically it's not built to haul small vehicles like the Cutter is. The Mule, the Hover Quad, the Steve all reliably load into the Cutter, and you can take them out again with all their parts intact. Okay, so the Titan makes a compelling case for itself, as it should. It's been regarded as the best starter ship for quite some time. You're probably thinking, okay, he's made some decent points, but these are all still good starter ships. And the Titan still seems like it's king. Why does he actually think the Cutter is a better starter ship? Here's why. The Cutter is a well thought out ship that fits the Drake design language wonderfully. It's got the perfect aesthetic for Drake fans, and it fulfills this starter role perfectly as an offering from Drake. Sure, there are probably Crusader and Origin fans out there that hate the Cutter, but that's okay. Diverse ship choice, even if it's based on looks alone, is a wonderful thing to have in a game as vast as Star Citizen. Because it's a brand new ship, it followed the most up-to-date project pipeline and ship creation capabilities of the teams that built it. You can tell when comparing it to any of the ships listed previously that the Cutter is a far more thought out and well-designed ship. From the little things like the exposed pipes and cords throughout the cabin to the easily accessible components area in the rear of the ship and the pilot's chair that raises up into the cockpit. It's Drake through and through. Now, some of this stuff may seem like a non-issue, but older ships don't have many of the following capabilities. It has a ramp that's reliable. It has interior lights that turn on and off. It's got buttons to open things versus random text that hovers in front of what you're actually trying to interact with. And a full bathroom and sleeping area, which is more than I can say for some of the other Drake ships. All of this combines to make the cutter feel very much like a flying apartment. The overall utility reminds me of my beloved Nomad, just in a smaller and very Drake package. 
nearly complete living quarters, dedicated cargo area, it can haul a few small vehicles, handles just fine in space and in Atmo for general tasks, and it's a great vehicle for nearly anything besides combat. Sure, it can't handle like the 100i or enter the fray like the Titan, but for me, and probably for most people joining Star Citizen for the very first time, all of its utility far outweigh the lack of combat prowess. The main thing is, and although we should be able to say this about every ship we pay money for, it doesn't feel unfinished or incomplete. This ship is one of the most complete starter ships to have ever hit the PU. And that's why so many of us that have been following the game for quite a while love this ship. It's so well put together. It's so well put together, in fact, that I bet the teams are taking a hard look at all of the other older starter ships and discussing how they can rework them or tweak them a little bit to make them as complete and well-rounded as this ship. So that's why so many of us are praising the Cutter. It's a complete ship on day one that's built with all the things a beginner will need to make it out in the verse. It's not some sort of relic from a long forgotten build. It followed a better design process, had more thorough QA, the thoughtfulness in its design language, and a focus on the game that's coming versus the game that Star Citizen was back in 3.0. It's clear that it was designed and built from the ground up for the future that Star Citizen will become. As most of you are aware, I'm giving away a Spirit C1 in my Road to Monetization giveaway. We're at 33% of our subscriber goal and 48% of our hours watch goal, so we're well on our way. As soon as we hit that 100% for subscribers and hours watched, I'm going to take all the comments from each subscriber and toss them in a spreadsheet and draw a random winner. Each comment equals one entry, so every comment means your chances increase. What you aren't aware of, because it's new, is that I'm giving away another ship on this road to monetization. I felt that the 500 subscriber mark was a good target for this giveaway. When we hit 500 subscribers, I'll gather all the comments from the subscribers up until that point and put them in a drawing for... The ship I've been talking about for the past seven minutes, of course. The Drake Cutter with LTI. Perfect as a standalone ship or as an LTI token to start off your chains. Good luck to you all and thank you for watching.